I'm not mad at you. Just keep your ass away from me. That's all. Somebody please tell Dr. Umar Johnson that black men in the UK are not going to be listening to his advice or his way of life when he's telling them to stay away from white women and to stick to black women. What is your snow bunny resume? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what this guy said about black men in the UK is not only embarrassing but it also makes no sense so the topic here is black men dating snow bunnies aka white women Dr Umar Johnson who you should already know about said this I am against the snow bunny crisis and I want your white listeners to understand because people be trying to say stuff like uh he's the black hitler. I'm not the black hitler. I am I am in no way interested in hurting or harming the life of any human. White, Asian, Chinese, I believe in respecting everybody. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm against interracial marriage in and Charlemagne is because marriage is an economic contract. Most women do not marry down in status. They marry up. Have you ever seen a rich white woman marry a broke ass black man? No, you have not. And you never will. Because marriage ain't about love. It's not colorblind. And it is totally economic. Now, for many years, Dr. Umar has said these things. It's nothing new. But as the trend of black men dating snow bunnies has risen, obviously, people are going to want to talk about it. So Huntsman DiCaprio on TikTok said this. Somebody please tell Dr. Umar Johnson that black men in the UK are not going to be listening to his advice or his way of life when he's telling them to stay away from white women and to stick to black women. That is not going to happen. Black men in the UK are heavily dependent on the economic security that white women provide. Now I can only assume that Huntsman didn't really think through what he was saying before he pressed record on this video. Because what he said was really foolish. Black men are heavily dependent on the financial security that white women provide. Does anyone believe this to be true? How secure do you think a relationship would be like this? Black men in the UK get into relationships with women. I'm talking about adult men, not teenagers who still live at their mum's house and don't have life pressures on them. I'm talking about adult black men in the UK get into relationships with women to find a place to live for free and to find a place where they haven't got to pay bills. That's why black men in the UK are in relationships with white women on mass amounts, on mass levels. Because white women will lie and do benefits fraud to basically allow her man to live with her for very long periods of time. Do you really think that white women want or are okay with a black man living with them who's living there rent free? You see now, women of all races do not provide financial security. That's not what women do. 10, 15, 20 years where he doesn't have to pay any bills and he doesn't have any big financial commitments. 10 or 20 years bills free, he said. Black men of the UK, do not try this. This is not a good seed to plant. Black women are not having it. I'm telling you, as somebody that's been with black girl after black girl after black, bro, I've been in relationships. My relationships have all been with black women. They're not, they're not allowed, they cannot respect a man, they cannot respect a black man, they cannot consistently have sex with a black man, they cannot love a black man, they cannot talk to a black man nicely if he's had to move into her life and she's had to provide security for him. See, in London, black women may be harder to get on with, but the UK isn't just London. She, it will run out very quickly. He won't get longer than 12 months in that kind of situation. So when Dr. Umar Johnson is saying to black men, you need to stick with black women. He needs to go beneath the layer and start talking about black men's mentality and black men's... Dr. Umar has covered every topic this guy is talking about over and over, which is why I don't really think he thought through about what he was saying before he pressed record on this video. Attitude towards economics and towards family economics, basically. Man them get money, they buy loads of trainers, they buy loads of designer clothes, they go on holidays, they go to restaurants, they, they rent cars, they finance cars, they cheat on their girls by booking hotels and all of that. They spend, they spend their money like that, but they ain't spending no money on owning, possessing and maintaining a house in the UK. And because they're not doing that, they need white women. Do you understand what I mean? So I go, I go on American social media, I follow a lot of black content creators in America. 
And I realised that a lot of black men in, the, in America, I don't know about in New York or in LA, but a lot of black men in different parts of America have houses, bro. That's part of their pride as a man, as it should be, to have your own house, to maintain your own house, and to fall in love with a woman that can walk into your security and you can provide for her and she doesn't have to worry about paying bills or how the house is maintained. That's what a lot of black men in America are on. In the UK, you must be joking. Black men are not on that. No way. Either this guy, Huntsman, knows many men like this, or he's just talking just to get views. But this is not what I'd call an intelligent comment on this topic. As much as I may not want to talk about the issues we have with our women, I know there are things to discuss and I feel your pain. I also know that Dr. Umar doesn't like checking our women, unlike the honourable gentleman Kevin Samuels did. Now, I'm more on the Kevin Samuels side of things, but that's a whole different conversation altogether. I hold everybody accountable for their actions, and that even includes myself. Three points I'd like you to take from this video. If you're looking for a snow bunny, aka white woman, to live with 10 or 20 years rent free, then you really should be taking some of Dr. Umar's advice because you are lost and you need help from wherever you can get this help from. For those that do have the means, you can purchase my book online that's Relationships Built on Sand by myself, Leighton John, that is available on Amazon. Number two, Huntsman said that white women provide financial security for black men. My question is, which white women are you talking about? Are these women tens? Are these women nines? Or are these women the women that nobody else wants? Think about that one for a sec. And number three, relationships and situationships, they're not just black and white, they're not just straightforward. When you talk about these situations, you need to talk about all the layers that are involved. You, you need to give the conversation a bit more context because if you think black women are just problems, then you've got a lot to learn about relationships. All women are problems. You've just got to try your best to manoeuvre and navigate and find your peace. Because that's all that we're looking for is peace. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. And for all those that have subscribed, I'll see you on the other side. Peace. Potential in another brother's baby mother. You're judging me, but you don't.